And we're going back to Mukau. Alright, so all in all, all you have to really do on Mukau 2 is you just have to go and to complete the arena once more. So you're just going to do the ball bounces as quickly as possible. By the way, if you're wondering what happens if you go too far with your wall bounces. Oh, I was trying to, I was trying to be a show off right there. I wonder if I can save this. Huh. You you can do that if say you go too far. Um I'm actually going to be a show off for a second and show what happens if you want to go a little bit too fast there was no doubt that I wanted to put this in the tutorial it's really useless it's actually not useful at all but it is cool to do every now and then so what you're going to want to do is once you see that you're about two whips away. You want to stop holding X. You're just going to whip up into that surface. It, there's a better version of that if you do it just right. I want to see if I can do it just right. This is the part, um, if I get into a marathon... I want to start talking about parallel universes and blah 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 but you know what I, I think I've shown off what it does I haven't gotten the best version of it but I'll let you guys discover that on your own time if you feel so inclined to try it out you go super fast it's mainly because like the game does not want you in that position so, all in all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, once you're about this spot, pull out your Shard Reaper, pull out your Nano Swarmers, and go into the arena. It's going to automatically put you into a battle. So, you want to want to spread out your Nano Swarmers as efficiently as you can while aiming your camera in directions to where you can spawn enemies where you want them. So right now I'm going to be circling back and forth and placing nano swarmers back and forth to where all the enemies will spawn in between my nano swarmers. Now there are chances where enemies can get out of your reach and that's fine. You'll also run out of the nano swarmers pretty quickly if you run out of ammo or have bad ammo drops so that's completely fine if you notice there was only really one um one wave left after all that so you just want to manage where you have your nano swarmers you can run around the entire arena if you want so right here i want to stress out that this is by far the hardest boss you will ever encounter in this speedrun. He's very RNG dependent. And you only want him to do one move. And luckily enough, he did not give it to us first try. So we're going to run around the arena. Once you see him do this move, you're going to want to jump out above the lava. And he's just going to kill himself for you. So there you go. Hardest boss defeated. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys high tech for what I do. I'm probably not going to get it first try because I haven't done it in a while. But I'm going to do another charge cancel long jump in midair again. And it's extremely tight. If you miss it, you will die. Unless you can save it by sheer luck. So what you're going to do is you're going to charge jump 
land on top of the taxi, and then charge jump out of that and long jump out of your charge. I'm surprised I got it first try. It looks really neat when you get it. And we are off to our next planet. 